Yo, what's up guys? It's Ovi here, coming up to you today. It's part two of the That's Super License speedrun. Now, this is its separate video because uh, the speedrun was taking pretty long and boring. And I wanted you guys to, you know, embrace the action. So, give it a go anyway. this is a separate video. You guys are going to see how quick it's going to take uh, yeah, 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 to yeah, get yeah, gold yeah, on yeah, S10. Yeah, Probably one of the yeah, hardest yeah, licenses. Yeah, 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 yeah. But let's get straight into it. Attempt number one. And here we go. Our driver, for some reason, chose to put the racing hard tyres on a pretty much wet track. However, I will admit that there is a dry line. And bang. That was uh, pretty much expected. Right. We'll do sector by sector acclimatization. Right? Sector by sector. I think I've already found my breaking point for this corner. No, 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 this is down the track. Okay. Down the. Oh, God. We might as well restart. But what I mean by sector by sector acclimatization is. Every sector, we we kind of get used to it. So basically, once we've mastered sector one, we master sector two. And once we've mastered mastered sector two, we master uh, we master sector three. And we do and every lap, so we complete sector one, and then we get used to sector two. And to do sector three, we complete sectors one and two, and then we get used to sector three. I don't assume Blanche Mar, if that's the end of that fast left hander, is going to be flat out. What? That's off track. That's a joke. Oh, beautiful Porsche 917K. Right, let's get to the outside. Find the breaking point. I think it's just when the barrier on the left hits the inside. Uh, it goes off the screen. That's what it is pretty much for me. Okay. Coming up to Eau Rouge. Gonna keep it pinned to the right here. I'm not gonna break. See what happens. Okay, I'm gonna. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Oh my, no! I'm not gonna check out the demo. I'm the goat. What are you talking about? Okay, we want to avoid that curb then. I think we found a good breaking point. We'll probably break a little bit earlier. No, no, no! Stay, stay on the track. Come on. Come on, it should be easy. I mean, obviously, no, obviously it should not be easy. I'm just joking. I promise I was just joking. It should not be easy. Don't go on the wet stuff. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, don't touch. What the hell? I didn't turn that much. The car turned more when I didn't even change how much it was turning. What? Doesn't make any sense. What the hell was that? Stay pinned to the right. Come in left. Okay, now that curb. We do not touch the curb. Okay. We cannot touch that left hand curb. We got it. Don't go too hot, don't go too hot, don't go on the wet stuff. We kept it going, we kept it going. No, that, was, that would have been so good. That would have been class if we kept it on. This is going to take a while. I think that's the best way of doing the net, getting the good exit speed. I think it's just keeping it pinned on the apex and trial breaking in. Come on, let's not get this wrong. Okay, no, no, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Go on. Beautiful. That's lovely. Let's keep this going. 
Sector 1 complete. We now, we, now we're used to Sector 1. Find the breaking point for Sector 2. I broke pretty much at 200 or 100, 150. The first break mark or whatever it was. Okay. Good, 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 good. Don't hit Vollard. Lovely. I think a Vollard is an invalidation. No, that's a bit too late. That was a bit too late. I will admit that was a bit too late. I wanted to count two flashes after the brake light turns on. For those of you wondering, my assists are... The, the, my only assists are ABS Squeak uh, and the Braken Indicator. Those are my only two assists. Oh, and Automatic, but does that really count? I mean, okay, that is kind of an assist. I am a controller player, and I'm not the best in the world. But those are my three assists. The Braking Indicator... Because that's harder than the breaking area. The breaking area is for actual noobs. Go on. Oh, that was good. Ah, oh, come on. The breaking into the breaking area is for noobs, right? We can agree on that. Much easier to time the breaking point, right? And it comes up so early sometimes. Makes it harder to time, say, for instance, if you want to break later than the breaking area. You know what I mean? But otherwise, the, the reason I have the breaking indicator is because I've not memorized my breaking points at every track. I try to work out breaking points, and if I don't have a brake marker, stay on it, stay on it, stay on it. It's that lovely. If I don't have a braking marker like on track, then I will try and time it using the flashes on the brake on the brake indicator. So like one flash in, or two flashes in, or maybe even at the start of it if needed. Right, breaking at nearly the 150. Okay, so we have an on-track breaking marker for there. I shouldn't really go on the curve there. Lovely. I'm going to try one flash here. Lovely. That's perfect. Whoa. Don't go off track. Oh, we went. We didn't turn in early enough. We're getting used to it though. Come on. We're getting the hang of this. Comfortably. Whoa. Okay. That's good. Come on. Oh, what a save. Touch the curb, but I saved it. Beautiful. This is actually fully dry. Here we go. A couple of meters before the 150. Beautiful. Beautiful. Time it. One flash. Beautiful. that wide. No, don't touch the curve. Beautiful. Uh, what's this coming up? Poo on. Break at the start of the curve. Does that work? Yes, it does. Don't go off the dry line. Don't go off the dry line. Touch a bit of the curve, but it's fine. Break on the braking indicator, does that work? I think we can probably break one flash. We can probably, we can break one flash on that one. Here, just try and get around. Beautiful. Here we can also break one flash, I think. Get off, get off there. Here, just get off the, it says break, but I just get off the throttle. Lovely, that's sector two mastered. Right, come on. We've almost completed the acclimatisation now. We just need to try and see if we do sector three. No, no, no. Do not go. Take it. No risks. No risks. No risks. No risks. Yeah, that's definitely not flat out. Come on. Coming into the final chicken. Break on the white line. Yeah, we found, we've pretty much found our break-in marker. Okay. Wait, hold on. No way. That's a joke! What the hell? <laughs> That's so many 
unbelievable. There's no way we did it that quick. That's amazing. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Yo, I just got my trophy already, fully licensed. There's no way we did it that quick. Hard work pays off. Just got another trophy, probably for all gold. Yo, I saved the repo. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. I don't think I've ever driven better in my life. I don't think I've ever driven like a clear acclimatized to a license. A difficult rig license, really difficult license, better than that in my life across all the GT games I've played. That is, that was beautiful. Like honestly, that was beautiful. What was the goal time again? 24, five. We almost beat it by a second on our first completed lap. Where do we rank in the world? Where do we rank? Oh, there's only says three top 10 stars. That's a shame. But that was sick. That was actually really, that was, that was amazing. Amazing. So yeah, let's just, let's exit. And okay, that was quicker than I thought. I've acquired my sleep license. Or just like that, I've acquired my sleep license. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh my days. Time for them to, oh, here, we, here comes the prize cards. Give me good prize cards, guys. Give me good prize cards. Ooh, Audi R8 MLMS. Love that. That's pretty good. Thank you, Miyazono. Level 45 collector level. Let's go. Of course, we're seeing these because this is all part of the walkthrough, right? The collector level is all part of the walkthrough. This is still the wall. Oh, the X20 Argent competition. Oh, but it doesn't matter because I have like the 25th anniversary version, which is even better. Right, just give me that. Oh my god, it's just already taken us level 46. That was quick. Okay. Yes, thank you so much, Sasaki. Oh, now we're going to do the master license. Oh, let's go. Sasaki, yes, yes. Hello, nice to meet you. Uh, protocol test of wet and snowy terrain. Gold, it's no easy feat, even for top tier drivers. Okay. Yep, I've got what it takes. I have got what it takes. I have got what it takes. And all this will be in the next... Uh, how, how long will it be? I don't know. Let's say, let's, this is going to be like two or three walkthrough videos time, I think. It's going to be sometime soon, for sure. But there you go. I, I just pretty much did a speed, that's just done, that's the speed run complete. Although that has taken about like an hour and a bit. But that's the speed run complete. And this video was, there you go, it's pretty much how to do F10. So yeah, I didn't think I'd complete it that quickly. If you guys want, I can even try to like do a video. How fast can I go on uh, S10? So if you want to look, if you want that, let me know in the comments if you want me to do that, and uh, I will. Um, but uh, yeah, listen, thank you so much again, so, so much for watching. Make sure you smash the like and subscribe for more Gran Turismo videos. There'll be daily races coming up, GTRC League content coming up. All of the thought, Will might have a War Thunder video coming soon. So if you're a War Thunder fan, you can subscribe for that. And always stay hype, and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.